What's up guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'd like to take a look at using plugins for added functionality in our applications. The plugins in vanilla NativeScript are available to use in NativeScript view. There are just a few changes that we need to make, which I'll show you as I install the plugins. So if you head over to the NativeScript marketplace, you'll see a big list of plugins available to use here. So you cannot sort by popularity, but what I did was I just went to GitHub, I searched for NativeScript and I searched by, I sorted by popularity there. So I picked a few of them at random and we will be playing around with them here. So the ones I picked are mostly UI based, but know that there are ones that integrate with the native phone API, like your camera or your accelerometer as well. So here are the ones that I picked. We'll take a look at this native script, native script card view, which is just a material card, which you can just drop into your template. The next one is this uh, toast, just notifications, very basic notifications. The next one is alerts. So some nice looking alerts here, which we can make use of. And this one is similar to alerts, but it's non-intrusive feedback. And then the last one is a pull to refresh plugin. Okay, so here I am in my code. I added this plugins button, um, just added a new route for plugins, added a route here in the router. And if I show you here, it's just a basic template to get us started. And we'll put all of our plugins in here. Also for the router, I'm gonna change this to plugin. So every time I save, it's gonna go here by default. Also when I save, this takes a bit long, so I'm probably gonna edit that part out. So if you feel like it's a bit jumpy, that's just cause I'm editing out the wait. Okay, I didn't edit out there, but for subsequent edits, I will do that. Okay, let's start with the card. So how do we install this? So usually in normal native script, you would use this TNS plugin add command, but for native script view, you would just install it normally using NPM. So I'm just gonna grab that. I am going to NPM install and paste that in. And every time you install a new plugin, you have to run this npm run clean command, which takes a few minutes to, actually that doesn't take a few minutes, but you have to restart your app. So you have to stop this and run npm run watch again, which takes a few minutes after you clean it. So I will be back. Okay, that's done. So let's see how to use this. So we can just grab this and make the necessary changes. So into our code, into our plugins, right here, we can just paste that in. And let me just make some changes. So first we don't need this type. So it's just card view. Actually, sorry, we have to install it first. So right here, um, if this were Angular, you'd install it like this. For view, you have to go into the entry point, which is right here in main.js. And right here, you do the same thing, but instead of register element, you do view.registerElement. And we would also have to require it in here. So require native script card view dot card view. Okay, let me just remove that. And now we can use it. So these are camel case, so I'm going to change all of these. So let me just change this. So this will be grid layout. This is camel case as well. Let me just change all of these. Okay, so for the image, I'm just gonna paste in an image of Batman here. 
And I'm just going to remove this tap function because it's not going to do anything in our case. If you wanted to, you could use that and add a method down here, but we just want to see if it works. So I'm going to save everything and hopefully that works. Okay, so I have an error. What's the error? Let's go to our main. Sorry, I forgot a closing quote here. Let's save that. Okay, so that worked, but it doesn't look quite like a card. Okay, so if you go into the GitHub repo, there's actually some CSS that we need here. So I'm just gonna grab all of this. I probably don't need all of it, but I'm just gonna grab it anyways, see if that fixes it. So go into our CSS right here, and I am just gonna paste it in. Okay, that did a bit, but it still doesn't look like how it's supposed to look like. Like a card. It should be like a shadow here. Let's see what I did. Go back here. I think if I change this call span and this as well, this should work. Okay, that didn't do anything. I'll do it, put it back. I think I've changed this class to white card. Let's see if that works. There you go, that looks better now. Actually, just put this back to two. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move on to the next plugin. What's the next one? Next one is this Toast plugin. So let's see how to install this. It's just native script toast. I'm just gonna grab that. NPM install it. Okay, I'm gonna install all the packages now because restarting it after we clean it takes a long time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and install the rest of them. So this one is just a native script a fancy alert. NPM install. And then the last one is native script feedback. NPM install that. Actually, this one too. If it, the video doesn't go long, I'll do this one as well. Native script pull to refresh. NPM install. Okay, now I'm going to do NPM run clean. And now I'm going to restart this. Okay, that's done. Let's go back here to our toast and let's see how to install it. So to install it, just do this in our main.js. So I'm just going to main, put it right here. And then how do we use it? Just like this. And I'm going to go back into plugins and I'm going to make a new button here underneath the card view. So button class is BTN, BTN primary. And the text is going to be show toast. And on the tap event, we want to make a new method called on toast tap and we can make that down here so methods on toast tap and we can just paste that in we can change this to const if you want and that should do it. Okay, there's the button. Let's, let's tap it. And it doesn't work. Okay, so I was getting weird errors with the router. 
So I changed the default route back to home and that seems to have solved the problem. So now our toast works. So there's a basic toast. Let's see if we can get this toast to work on this accept button. So same thing, it should be tap equals on toast tap, save that. Okay, so now we have to cl click once in. That's okay. And the toast works for that too. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. What's the next one? Next one is this fancy alert. So let's go ahead and use this. So this one, we can actually just use the import syntax. So let's go ahead and import it right here and let's go ahead and use it so we can just copy that I just paste that in and I'm gonna make a new method here on fancy tap don't need this move that in there and let's make a new button called show fancy alert on fancy tap and don't forget the comma cool so go into plugins show fancy alert and there is that nice alert there's a ton of options for this plugin not going to go through them, but um, I'll do one, I guess. Uh, if you want an error, just change this to error. Error. And that should work. Try it again. And there's the error. Cool. Okay, what's the, the next one? Next one is similar, but it's this feedback. So how do we use this? Okay, so let's just copy this. Let's go back to our code. And put it right here. And let's make a new button here. So show feedback. And on feedback tab. Let's make a new one on feedback. Don't forget the comma. And how do we use this thing? Let's grab this. And see if this works. All right. Okay, go into plugins, show feedback, and it doesn't work. Actually, we don't call it using this. We just call it like this. Okay, try it again. Show feedback, and there it is. And again, there's a whole bunch of options you can look at here. For example, you can use success instead and you can add a title and a message. So success, title, success. And I think that this changes the color. So plugins, there you go. And it adds that nice checkbox too. Okay, let's take a look at one more. So I added a new screen here because this pull to refresh plugin requires a list and I just wanted to put it on its own screen. So here's a list and this comes straight from the native script playground if you're curious. So it's just a list view and it has some data here of countries. Okay, so let's take a look at how this works. So 
we have to register it like this. So let's go into our main and just like that and require name script pull to refresh dot pull to refresh. Okay, that should be good. And how do we use it? We have to wrap our list view in this new pull to refresh tag. And this is angular. So let me just copy that and change it to view. So refresh, and we are going to wrap our list view in a pull to refresh, but not like this. We're going to do at refresh equals and we'll make a new method called refresh list and make sure to close that. So pull to refresh and let's make a new method after the data methods refresh list. And let's see how to use that right here. So this is just using set timeout to make it so that the refresh stops. But in a real app, you would do some sort of Ajax call and it would stop when it's successful or when there's an error. So grab this, paste that in there. Actually, we don't need that. We don't need this. Let me put the arguments in here. And that should be good. So let's see if this works. So it just refreshes for one second. And you'll see it here. If it works, so pull to refresh, I'm going to pull down. And there it is one second and then it disappears. Cool. Alright, so I think that's all the plugins we're going to take a look at for today. As you can see, they are very easy to use and enhance the functionality of your application. Also take a look at this app. There's an app in the app store that highlights a bunch of plugins and I actually got some of the plugins that we used here from this app. So definitely check it out and maybe you can discover something that would be useful to you. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Okay, thanks. Bye.